All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, before I get going here, I want to show you my friend here. She comes by every day. She's got a couple of babies that are probably bedded down somewhere right now, hidden away. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, happy 4th of July. Um, man, every one of us should be grateful that we live in the great country that we do. As, as messed up as things are right now, we have the best fishing of any country, in my opinion. But if you've been following along, I get out early. It's too hot to fish during the middle of the day anyway. So I get out early throw the top water, um, catch a bunch of fish, and then, you know, after that, you're lucky to catch anything. Um, so we get off the water before it gets too hot. And anyway, stay tuned. Um, had a great day. Stay tuned. Oh, Zane, did you see that? I didn't get him. Boy, that was a big old swell. And he won't come back. Darn it. You think you just snaked my fish? Ooh. That's a, oh. Oh. That, you got my, you got my line. It's a decent fish. Yeah, we'll take it. Is it off? No. Well, I got new hooks and that I'm, I am not gonna miss them like I did the other day. Oh, he hit me. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. That's a decent, decent fish. Yeah, it's, it's actually probably a little bigger than the one you caught. That's a nice one, Zane. It's a decent fish. I will take it. Pound and a half, two pounds, something like that. Boy, he uh, really hit it with some authority too, which I like. But they're just gonna be scattered till we get to a little bit deeper water, I think. Which means that fish was in about a foot of water, probably. Oh, geez, did you see him, Zane? He came out of the water. Oh. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> oh, he was a little one. Boy, he came out of the water. He was a little. Nah, I did. He came off. He, he didn't hit it very good. He was... He was a dink dinkster. Oh, boy, Zane. Oh, that's a better fish. Isn't it? No. Is that the one that came out of the water after me?
Just a little guy. <laughs> I don't care if they're small or not. The topwater fishing is fun. I, I like it. And so far, my new hooks are working. Yep. I think well, down through this stretch, we're going to catch fish. This is the color I'm using today, chrome and blue. I spent a good hour yesterday putting new hooks on a bunch of these that had, you know, I'll wear them out, the hooks anyway. The hooks, the factory hooks don't last long. They start to get soft. I think that's why I missed so many on the last video. I mean, you missed some, but you didn't, you know. Oh, Zane, I, I edited out probably 15 that I didn't get. I had two on, two on, one on the front hook, one on the back hook. I lost them both. Zane, oh, there, I was snagged for a second. There's usually a fish right here. Oh, Zane, did you see him coming? He just gently, it's a good one too. He just gently slurped it. And I believe it's Mr. Largemouth. It is a largemouth, Zane. It's a nice one. I did not see the, the what you're talking about. Did you hear the cocoon? Hey, 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 hey. I had my hand on the hook there, fella. <laughs> Boy, it's a nice largemouth. Yeah, that's a good one. Good one. See, now that's what I expected back in here. Boy, that was a nice one there. And my... And he did, did slurp. He just gently slurped it. And I would not be surprised we don't run into another one. Back in the 60s after the day, that in the morning. Oh, I didn't get him. There, I got him. <laughs> well, the hooks seem to make a difference. I'm... I got lazy and didn't swap the hooks uh, there for a while. He's not a big one, but still fun. Whew. Man, it's humid. That fish there wanted it. He missed it, kept on coming. So it's hot and humid this morning and of course, we're throwing the Spro EPOP. The, the hotter it is and the more humid it is, the better the fishing is with these topwaters. Oh, there he is. Saying I didn't have to move it. Yes, it is. Didn't have to move it. I'm trying to keep him from jumping. No, dig down, dig down. There you go. Oh, we, nope, I still got him. It's a nice one. It is a nice one. Yep. I was waiting for you to throw in there and you never did, so. No, I just just let it sit. That's a nice one too. Nice fish. I'll take those all day long. Zane, I've been doing really good with that straight shard or straight shad. Yeah, that straight shad color. But I, you know, and I put new hooks on it. I, I just thought I'd switch it up. There might be a little bad mojo on that one. I miss way too many fish. But these new hooks make a difference. I, I'm, I got to order some more. 
boy, Zane. Ooh, does this not look fishy? So we're just experimenting. We're fishing some new areas here. And the creek channel is the is the key. You got to be close to the creek channel. I pretty much stay in the creeks all year long. All right, so pay attention to this next clip. You're going to see uh, some riprap on the shore, and then there's a, a, a sharp break right where the riprap, riprap ends, and just the, the regular mud bank begins. I catch a lot of fish in these areas where there's a transition from rock to sand or from rock to mud. Anyway, I just figured I would point that out. Those are good areas to target when you're fishing, especially a top water. Yeah. Oops, and there he was. Look at him. He swelled at. <laughs> Not a bad fish either. A little bit. Didn't we top water that last time? I don't remember. Maybe we didn't. That's another nice one. Eh, you know, pound and a half. I'll take those. I'll take those all day long and be happy. There's just not very many. But look at all the bait underneath this tree coming up. Well, I saw that one swirl at it, you know, and then I just kept working it slow. Yeah, it helps. It definitely helps if you have deep water close by, and we're we're in this pretty shallow. But you know, for large mouse, they there should be should be a fish. You get him? Yeah. Well, it acts like a good one, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it's, easy. it's a decent spot. Yeah, Zane, that's a nice one. <laughs> Jeez, he came out of Dana out of nothing. Oh. oh. Boy, he took it too. Dang it. Oh. Yep, we'll take it. <clears throat> we might just get another one along here. That one hit it pretty good. See, isn't that funny? You, you, how you can end up losing them, but you get one like that and you can't even hardly get them off. Can't get them off. He took me under a rock. Boy, he, he whacked you, didn't he? Eh, not a giant, but we'll take it. Piece of poop. Just hammered it. Look yeah. at the bait right there by your... That looks like a crawdad. That's what it looks like. 
I'm sure that's what any creature bait's kind of supposed to resemble. Oh, there he is. Oh boy. Geez, Zane, I think it's a good one. Don't be a, don't be a, ca a catfish. Boy. I think it's a catfish. It's not acting like a catfish. Do I need the netting? Let's see what it is. Catfish. Zane, you, you are supposed to catch the catfish, <laughs> not me. Yeah, I passed the on to you. <sighs> We'd have some good catfish fillets, wouldn't Boy. we? For anybody that likes to, to eat catfish, just Lanier is just crawling with them. Yeah, I'm assuming he hammered it. Dude. Oh yes, I mean it's fun, fun to fun to catch. Can I see that bait flipping? That was on the jig and fluke. Wrong species. He's all that bait around. Oh, Zane, did you see that? I was reeling it up and he came and got it. And it's a good one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to net him because it's a. I don't know how well I got him hooked. Hey now. Well. Look at the bait right here. Well, that's why this fish was there. Look, Zane, these people are gonna get ran over. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> a doozy. You were reeling it in. Reeling it in, Zane. I was looking behind us at the... All the... Boats coming towards us. No, it's not. There he is. Got him. The minute it hit the water. Yeah, then it's not that bad. Not that bad of a fish. Not. Hey, 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 now. He came very close to getting my leg there. Well, in the shade, Zane, I think we still got a shot. I mean, he's a little small, but it's another topwater fish. Boy, that cat, I got catfish goop all over these gloves. Ooh, it is. I even paying attention. Yeah, Zane, that's a good two pounder. Yeah, I barely had him hooked. Yeah, oh, well, that's a nice one. On the old creature. All right, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is the pattern that I will do all summer long into the fall. Um, uh, normally I'll catch my last topwater fish 
November, December. Um, I just I enjoy catching them on the topwater lure. There's there, it's a visual thing and it's always exciting. Even the smaller ones are fun. Um, but thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Give it a thumbs up. Um, you can leave comments, ask me questions, whatever. I'll try to answer everything I can. But uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.